Hi, we're Nick and Billy, two 57-year-olds who've decided to take early retirement and head off to live in our van this winter in Spain and Morocco. We're not sure if we're brave or stupid, but we're definitely scared. And just to complicate things even more, we decided to get married the same day we catch the ferry for this big journey. So if you'd like to come along and see what happens, then just hit subscribe. It's completely free. Hello. Hello. So here we are in the van, just making some final preparations for our trip. And uh, Billy's made a latest purchase. I love a gadget. So one of the things we hear about quite a lot is crime and people breaking into vans and stuff. So we do have things to stop the van getting lifted, etc. But what we wanted was something that stops when we're in. If anybody forces the locks, it'll stop the doors opening. We want a simple solution because we're klutzers. Yeah. We're not very technically minded, are we? No, not at all. But there is obviously lots and lots and lots of simple solutions. One of them being a ratchet strap, which I think is just like one of the best things there is. However, we haven't got any gaps, have we, no. that we could thread the ratchet strap through. So we just thought all along, yeah, great idea, ratchet strap. People try to raggy doors open in the night, covered. Mm. Absolutely yeah. not. And you can also <laughs> On closer get, inspection. Yeah, you can also get ratchet straps that go through that handle, the hole, wrap around the handle hole, and you can fit them to the seat belts and all that sort of stuff. But we don't have any holes in our door panels at the front. So we had a look around, and I've seen this in Germany. So you can't really get it in Britain. You have to order it from Germany. And it's called Camper Protect. So what it basically is, is a unit that goes in your door. So you take off the bolts in the door, fit that in, re-bolt your panel on, it has a little hook. What this hook does is it has a carabiner. It goes on. And then at the bottom of your seat belt, you have the little knuckle. And this just hooks over the knuckle. So hopefully it looks like five minute job. It looks idiot proof. <laughs> it it takes two be. idiots to prove that. <laughs> if we can use it, anyone can use it, can't yeah. we? <laughs> so we're going to try this out. And if we can fit it, anybody can fit it. So we've also bought, we've got one for each door, left and right. And we've also got this for the sliding door. Works on the same principle. It goes underneath the, the handle that's already there, bolt back on. Again, hooks and goes over the knuckle. So there are some slightly bigger bolts for that one because it is probably a bigger gap the, on the door panels you don't need to change the bolts they're exactly the same bolts because it's quite thin so we've got that to fit as well now it's not going to stop people getting in no oh, what it will do is buy us a bit of time so i mean we we like to think we're not stupid and we like to think we're pretty sort of street smart and savvy and plus the fact i'm i firmly believe in trusting your gut so if you're not comfortable with where you park up then we just wouldn't stay there would we no um and obviously these sort of things you're not going to need on a campsite or anywhere there's a lot of people i mean really we're looking at you know on the odd occasion we might be sort of on our own somewhere we might be somewhere quite remote you know just somewhere where we n might need to feel a little bit more secure yeah and also it gives you time to arrive at the door with something heavy and blunt <laughs> or sharp and pointy to protect your camper van doesn't it the yeah. other thing is because you can fit them and leave them pretty much fitted i think on most of these you could um, actually, if you're parking, so one side was exposed to the street and one was possibly a bit more enclosed and you weren't sure, you could pick the side you fit them on and get out the other side. So yeah. you could actually use them and still be exiting the van. You just need one entrance, obviously. So you'd cover the entrances with these that you weren't comfortable, that weren't visible to people and leave the other entrance to get out of that is visible to people. So I think, again, it's just another little deterrent, isn't it? Yeah. If they try the door and it's not opening, they may do one hopefully yeah or they can open it but not enough yeah i think yeah and to be fair there's probably more use for these in britain than there is abroad because <laughs> i think the crime rates are yeah. possibly a bit lower in a lot of these foreign countries they certainly seem to be there's a lot of plants and stuff like that you know diggers that are just left out they don't go missing no and and it's not like we're like security crazy or anything but you just can't be too careful, can you? So, yeah. I mean, for example, we never even park up in a supermarket, do we, without putting our steering lock on. Yeah. I think it just, you know, you shouldn't get blasé. 
Um, and so, yeah, just for if we were somewhere remote, I think it'd give you a lot more peace of mind, wouldn't it? Yeah. You know, knowing that those doors were a lot, lot, lot harder to open. Yeah. yeah fingers crossed we'll never need to use it or never need to worry. But it's it's a, a simple solution. It does seem too not simple. Ready, yeah, not readily available in this country either. No, so you order them from a place called Camper Protect in Germany. They came within a week. And you get some little jelly sweets as well. So, I mean... Which you didn't share. No, I had them. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saving you. And a little From notepad. yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and a little notepad, so yeah. Yeah, yeah it was good service. So let's go try and fit them, and we'll see how hard it is. Okay, so this is the bracket. This is going to go where that bolt is, there. So you are told you can remove one bolt, and that'll do it. But I found you need to remove two bolts. You need to take the bottom bolt just to get that gap to get it in. So the first thing to do is these are hex. So let's get in and get these off. If you have better tool kits than me, I'm just using my bike kit. This would be a lot easier. Oh well, yeah, you may, you may be kidding to get something handy instead of your bike stuff. <laughs> so that should be enough space for me to get that in now. Okay, so you align the hole that's in there with the hole that's in here. Okay, get that in. And that should be it. Let's put the bolt back in. going it's going yeah there we go rubbish tool for the job yeah maybe you should <laughs> get yeah. something else to hand my lovely i haven't got anything else to hand that's the only torque screws i've got so it'll have to do all right stage one complete Is that fiddly or is it okay? It's fiddly for me, but it's in now. Right. So you could just sit on the floor, couldn't you? And yeah. Probably find it a little bit easier. Right, so that's that. And this. Hooks on there. So we'll go show you how it works now. Oh, that didn't take long, did it? No. So you're going to leave that there all the time? We could take those off if we want to and store yeah, them but... somewhere, or you could leave them just in there. When yeah, we're... just leave them in there so you've got them to hand. Yeah, let's go try it out. Okay. Yep. Okay, so that comes out. Open and look. It, it hooks over the knuckle there. Let's have a look. So it just, right, I can't, it's hard to see because of the light, but you can sort of see. Yeah, it just hooks over there, doesn't it? Yeah. There, yeah. So if you give us a counter here, yep. you can see how it hooks over. So let's try the door. You go round and open it like a burglar. <laughs> I'll go try it, I'm a burglar. Right, let's see how much the door opens. It's not gonna stop it tight, because if it stopped it dead, you wouldn't actually be able to get it fitted because it'd be too tight but it will stop it coming fully open. We're just waiting for the burglar now. Try it. There you go. Don't yank it too much. There you go. Jobs are good. Shut the door. So, that was a bit more of an arse on to get that on, especially by yourself, but it's done. 
So you get two longer screws with this one because the plate sits behind there and it's actually quite a gap. So you need those longer screws fitted, getting them out and getting them in. It's a bit of a, a chore by myself, but if you had two people, one holding it, one screwing and stuff, it'd be dead simple. So once it's on, this comes around here and just appears to hook there. So jobs are good. So front and back. So again, that's it. You've got time. Nobody's getting that open without taking all that off. And yes, it's a carabiner, but you're not going to get your fingers in there very well, are you? So yeah, I think it's a simple solution that even klutzers like us can fit with a set of bike tools. Let's not forget, we haven't even got any tools. We're that useless. Got a set of bike tools. And I think that gives me enough time to get to the door and hopefully, if we have any problems, frighten them off with big blunt things or pointy sharp things. Anyway, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Good job. So I can definitely recommend they seem to work. Obviously got to try them in anger, but it is just a deterrent, isn't it? So hopefully they will go, nah, too much hassle and walk away before they're found trying to break in. We'll see how that goes on our little journey, but another little security measure. Hope you enjoyed it. And Camper Protect, I'll put the link on and you can have a look on their website. Trust us when we say, if we can fit this, anyone can. If you've enjoyed the vlog or if it's been of any good to you, give us a big thumbs up. And now we're two weeks away from our wedding and heading off on our four month honeymoon to Spain, Portugal and Morocco. So if you'd like to come along on that, just hit subscribe, it's completely free. And we'll be visiting lots of places we've never been, but we'll also be returning to wonderful places we have seen last time, like Guadalest, which is fantastic. Right, catch you on the road some point. Laters. Mm -hmm.